Hello and welcome to Galactic Soul Healing. Um, this is a bit of a first. I'm doing an evening um, reading tonight. And um, yeah, I did a meditation today um, in my backyard. And it's um, going to be um, on the, well, messages from the Hedarians. And we're going to be looking at um, Beyond Lemuria deck. This is the guidebook, but the cover is pretty much the same by Izzy Ivy. And we're also going to be uh, doing Dreams of Gaia as well today, Raven Felon, and also um, the Spirit Animal Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. Um, I really love all these decks, so um, yeah, we'll see what turns up. So this is the Beyond Lemuria deck. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, as you know, Hadar, or the Hadarians, um, come from the uh, Beta Centauri system. And uh, there's another um, system close by as well. Um, actually, the whole system is Centaurus. Um, but there is, as you know, um, Alpha Centauri, Beta Centauri, and Proxima Centauri. Um, the Alpha Centaurians... Um, actually have connections with Lumer Lumeria, um, which is quite interesting. Um, hence, I've grabbed these Lumerian cards. Um, and, um, you know, I did a, a meditation today. Um, got a nice calm zone. Um, it's pretty peaceful outside, so uh, it was kind of nice. And, um, yeah, so I did write down uh, the download that and um, yeah we'll be reading that at the end as well so we'll see what comes out here today let's just cut this and we're going to be doing three from this deck uh, three from each deck and um, yeah okay just gonna make sure that's pressed in okay and let's go here we have a sacral chakra, well, core of creation. Okay, so the sacral chakra, as you know, is located um, just below the belly button. Um, and, um, yeah, the earth has chakras as well, actually. Um, so this is actually a serpent snake here uh, with wings. And this... Um, Looks like sort of two planetary bodies, possibly you know Earth and Central Sun. Um, and the sacral chakra is that chakra that's um, energetically linked to creativity, sensuality, um, even intuition as well. Uh, and it's one of the lower chakras, so um, very um, being doing Earth or earthing or grounding activities is very. Um, good for the sacral chakra to energize that as well um, now let's look at number two well solar plexus chakra okay we have chakra cards folks um, radiant illumination that says and as you know the solar plexus chakra is all about um, our empowerment it um, is linked to the, um, the mental body I believe um, so it's to do with our, our will and our drive, okay, our confidence, our passion and, yeah, our sense of, um, empowerment, um, yeah, this is interesting, we're getting chakras coming up and I have a feeling I understand why this is happening, um, we have the element of air. Okay, these are beautiful cards. Um, paradigm shift. Wow, that is just awesome. Um, and yeah, some of the messages I was um, uh, there. There is going to be a um, a big shift into earth based, nature based um, therapies and. Um, 
yeah, basically earth and nature connection. And we're going to become more connected to the natural cycles of the earth, our, um, you know, I mean, the earth grows our food, it gives us air, it, you know, it has nature, plants, trees, oceans, water, it's very supportive of us and um, the paradigm shift is going to be really an increasing in awareness of this uh, super crucial connection we have with the earth that people tend to kind of overlook um, a lot of the time um, and yeah, we're really just going to be coming back down to earth literally and metaphorically okay um and um it's also very healing for our energy body to do this as well to connect with the earth so let's um i'm just going to jump to great dreams of gaia cards deck now i'm just going to shuffle these a little more <clears throat> and um yeah we'll see what comes up um it's interesting that we've got even the sacral chakra is also classified as a lower chakra okay that heart chakra being that connection between the upper and lower chakras okay so it's interesting that we're having this um yeah these lower chakras are going to be strengthened and activated okay by us doing the earth basically the big takeaway from my meditation and the downloads was to do with um, earth connection and nature connection okay so I'm just going to cut these now so this is the dreams of Gaia deck and <clears throat> I'll go one two three <clears throat> and here we have the counsellor Okay, now a counsellor is a type of um, therapist, usually to do with the mind aspect. Um, and we also have here, this is the element of water um, in the Dreams of Gaia deck, which is interesting because it also speaks uh, to the emotions, it speaks of emotion. Okay, and the interesting thing is that um, the sacral chakra is uh, linked into the um, emotional body and um, that's kind of a direct link there with that um, but we're also going to be getting healing um, and help with our emotions through our earth connection as well um, right this is number 10 of air and um, that is literally this is the back of a person's head um, and that's the eye. So this is about, um, it looks almost like a spiritual initiation type of thing um, and isn't that interesting? See on these eyes we have here, look at that, we have another eye. So this is about sight and seeing but we're going to be seeing with a lot more eyes. We're going to be almost seeing with our senses as well, okay. And this is about really seeing spirit, seeing that um, spirit connection, which is also that whole process of that spirit connection is facilitated through earth connection, believe it or not, um, which is really fascinating. Let's go with this one. Um, wow. And isn't this awesome? That is a number eight of fire. Now, interesting thing is that the solar plexus um, is actually um, the fire chakra. And um, this is just really awesome because it, it looks like this person is dancing like in radiance in state of uh, confidence, um, empowerment and uh, strength. Okay. And um, look at those beautiful warm colours. So that's really... Um, and it looks like a type of dance too, which is also great for the sacral chakra. But it's really interesting how this is, so this is almost like our fire is going to be activated. And this is almost like our emotions. We're going to be almost be able to counsel ourselves. Although if you feel like you need to, um, you know, see a counsellor, um, yeah, do that as well. Um, because, yeah, engaging in dialogue, uh, it's going to be useful 
as well. But um, you can literally go out and meditate um, in nature and, um, you know, ask some questions and just see what comes up um, in terms of answers if you sit still and just listen. And, um, yeah, so we'll just uh, take this. So these are the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Brown Reed. I really love these cards. It's so um, beautiful frequency. And I'm just going to um, do this on top. Okay. And then we'll just cut these. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to just take three of these as well. Okay, one, two, I love the design on the back of these, gorgeous, two, and, yep, three. <clears throat> okay, isn't that beautiful? Cow spirit, the miracles are endless. Wow, I love the flowers here. So it's very um, nature. And the cow is a sacred animal in India, as we know. Um, but we also have this beautiful reddish kind of yellowy colour. Okay, which is also sort of synchronous of that earth kind of feeling. Um, <clears throat> beautiful. And cows are very, um, usually quite peaceful and calm, very kind of slower paced animals as well. Um, and it's, this cow has been beautified, if I can say that. So sometimes, um, the sacral chakra or sensuality can sort of benefit from some, um, yeah, beautification or doing things that make you feel, um, beautiful and peaceful. So this is the lizard spirit. Dream of the world into being. Wow. So this is about literally um, creating a reality. Okay. How, um, and he's balancing here. Balancing on that, which is quite interesting, isn't it? And I love that green colour, which is, um, usually like the heart chakra, it's green point of balance so it's speaking of um you know love connection and really setting using your intention or dreaming or visioning um basically these under here these themes too of like you know seeing with more awareness and having more spirit connection as well so that's quite awesome Okay, we have the parrot spirit. Watch your words. Okay. This is to do with um, empowerment because you can quite easily, with your own internal words, you can quite easily disempower yourself. You can very easily sabotage yourself. Um, so it's talking about inner world words here because words have energy and vibration and um, if you want to be doing some sacral chakra healing stepping into empowerment positivity um, become really aware of the words that you're saying to yourself in our previous um, video we covered a little um, about dialoguing between your ego self and your soul self or higher self <clears throat> And um, I just did that recently, uh, yesterday and today actually, and um, it was quite amazing what came out because I realised that there was quite a lot of negative um, uh, internal dialogue going on and most people have more negative internal dialogue than they realise um, because often we judge our life by what's going on around us externally. We don't actually look inward to see what's actually going on um, with our own thinking. So this is about watching your words and your thoughts. Okay, and if you do catch a lot of negatives, just kind of pause and maybe trace that back to uh, the root of where that's coming from. Um, you might like to just attribute negative things to like, you know, the um, 
negative aspect of ego because there are positive and negative aspects of ego, okay? And be objective, you know, you can observe, do lots of writing, journaling as well. Now, I am just going to read out <coughs> um, my meditation and we're going to see um, where things fit in. Okay, so um, this is from the Hadarians, okay. Nature, outdoors, natural cycles of sun, moon, stars, planets are important now. Connect with the earth via your feet, your hands, your senses of sight, hearing, touch, smell, taste. Eat natural foods as much as possible rather than processed. Feel your soul connecting to the earth. What is the earth telling you? So this is about taking time. Tune in and listen to what the earth is saying to you. If you can gradually enhance your communication with the earth, it will guide you to your soul's essence, your harmony, your balance, your peace, your true presence. Feel and honour the healing effects that arise in you as a result of your increased nature and earth connection. Feeling your energy field, merge with the energy of nature around you. Perhaps living in a tent even for short but regular periods may assist you in this nature-earth connection process. Feel the immense solidity and stability of the earth. Wonder at the growth of plants, trees, flowers and the formation of rocks, soils, minerals, crystals and sands. Be in awe of how the earth holds the oceans, rivers, lakes and streams. Humanity needs to start looking to nature and earth for their entertainment, their inspiration and a renewed sense of strength, calm and centeredness. Those of you who spent many childhood years immersed in nature are fortunate indeed because your subconscious is already aware of the depth and greatness of this connection. For those of you who did not have the opportunity to connect with nature regularly when you were children, you may need to engage in nature and earth training to help you reawaken this magnificent yet often overlooked form of support that is available to you. Nature and earth is perhaps are perhaps the single most powerful healers for the mind-body-spirit complexes of humans at this time. Love your earth, honour your earth and the cycles of nature and it will give you comfort, strength, stability and healing. Meditating in nature is a powerful form of contemplation, grounding and healing. Love is the most powerful vibration. Remember this. And so the shamanic energy healing earth-based tradition will reawaken and be reborn throughout the earth. Much love, many blessings, peace, love and light, the Hadarians. And, you know, so we can see, like, the elements are reflected here, aren't they? We have the fire, uh, sorry, the water. We have fire here. Uh, we have we have animals. Uh, we have the healing effects on our energy body. Uh, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, but not only those chakras, other ones as well. And uh, this one is about the paradigm shift. So we're going to be connecting more to the earth rather than um, disconnecting from it. That's going to be one of the big shifts that are going to be happening. Um, and, you know, just contemplating animals in nature. Um, and, um, yeah, just um, this, the colours in this too. Okay, using all of our senses, okay. Um, yeah, so that's uh, about it for today um, and or this evening. And, um, yeah, this was a kind of impromptu. Um, so, yeah, it just sort of came upon me in the backyard to do a um, Hadarian uh, reading. So I hope this has been useful. Um, yep, yeah, have a great day and a great week, and I will catch up with you soon. Ciao for now.